Hi, it's Deb Joy Smeek here from Delight of My Art, and I have another fun project to do today. Today we're doing a 3D item. This one is a gift card holder in the shape of a purse, which is so cute. This one again is using celebration items, which are good um, and available through the end of March if you qualify for those by purchasing any uh, increment of $50. So here's this cute little purse. Isn't it cute? It's got a little dangly. It's got some foil hearts on there, and I did put some Velcro on there. That's the only thing that's not a Stampin' Up! Project, or product, but isn't that darling? So I have a gift card just right inside there like that. And then, oh, this is too cute. So this is using the Inside the Lines Designer Series paper, and then again this silver ribbon silver metallic ribbon, the 3 8 inches. So let's put it together. Okay, so here's the project we're going to be making today and these are the pieces that you're going to need. So I cut a piece of my designer series paper at 6 inches by 4 and a half inches. I scored it at half an inch all the way around and then I scored it again in the middle. So there's two score lines. You probably can't see this very well. Maybe on the back. There's two score lines down the middle, and those are scored at two and three quarters from this edge, two and three quarters from this edge, which ends up being three and one quarter. So two and three quarters, three and one quarter. Um, so we will go ahead and fold all of our lines here with our bone folder. They are, the other things that we're going to need are the smallest squares and circle from the stitched edge framelits in black and two hearts of uh, two different sizes. I think the smaller hearts came from the Valentine's Suite that's in the Occasions catalog, and then this one came in the Hot Air Balloon set from the Occasions catalog, so there's two different sizes from both of those sets. And then I have a piece of the Whisper White White Twine, and then another piece of this silver metallic ribbon, which I'm loving, from the Celebration Catalog. So both of these items, the paper and the ribbon, are from the Celebration Catalog. So let's go ahead and burnish our folds here. So this is half an inch on all sides. Do the center ones here. You could color this in before you put the bag together. I just chose not to because I think it looks nice and classy in a black and white and that makes my life easier <laughs> without having to color it in. I think I will show you a project that I'm going to do coloring it all the way in fully which was nice and relaxing while I was watching TV the other night. So. That's in a future video. Another 3D project for that one. But this one's so much fun. Okay, so we've got, so I what I did was I folded all of these pattern side inward, except for the very edges, the ends, and I'm gonna fold those down like this because that will make the flap at the top here. So what we're gonna do is turn it so that the white side is up, and I'm going to cut up the score lines here and here on both sides. So I will cut like this, and like this, turn it around and do the same thing. That is the only cutting we will be doing on this base piece. Now, what I'm going to do is fold those two tabs in, and what we're going to do is look at my template here. I have a little template that I stamped in green. So this will be the pattern side, this will be the plain side. We'll get these out of the way for a second so we can put this together. So I'm going to fold these two in just like my piece over here. The highlighted parts are where we're going to put some fast fuse. So I don't want to put it all the way to the edge here. I just want to start here on this flap past the score line. So I'll go here snap my wrist there, here, and here, 
And again on the other side, make sure my flap is in. Oops. Here, here, and here. And we're going to put one side together. So I'm going to fold my end over here and then put this edge up to the corner like this. So that's together. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And now I'm going to unfold this and kind of put this flat. I'm going to put adhesive right here on this strip right here. Before we go any further. I just want this to be nice and stuck down on that side. I guess we could have done that first. And again on the other side, we'll just do that right now. On the pattern side, on the edge. So that will be down like that. Okay, so our purse is halfway put together and we get sticky on the inside here and here like this, so we're going to stick that right on the outside of the box. In this way we have a front of the purse. The part that is folded over will be the front side. There we go, we've got the base all done. We're going to put that aside for now. Get our template out here. We'll go ahead and put the handle on right away because that's super easy. What you do is you take your fast fuse and you find your ribbon. It's already curling one way, so you probably want to keep that curl in there. Make the curl into a rainbow and then lay it flat, and then you'll do it on each end. So just put a little bit of fast fuse on that end and this end. Let me measure this real quick for you. Yes, it's about eight inches long, so that's what we're, we have here. We're just going to stick this end in here, keeping the rainbow in the ribbon. And I know my fast fuse is on this side. I'm just going to stick it right in here. Stick my finger down in there. Okay, I see my camera battery, or uh, my uh, camera got filled up with memory, so I had to go do that, but we'll do the other side here. If your finger doesn't fit inside of here, you can always push it with your bone folder or a pair of scissors and make sure that that's stuck down. So there's our little purse. And now we'll take our cutie cute stitch shape framelits in the smallest square and we'll take our biggest hearts. And we're just going to stick those right in the center of the squares. I'm going to use the snail because that is good enough. So stick that down, put it on the back of this one. <clears throat> so I was torn between doing this two different ways with these things. I did two of them because I was going to do one on each side like this one. But what if we did it two on the front like this? So you'll have to tell me which one you like better. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to put a little bit of... I guess I don't need to use fast fuse for this way. That's okay. So I do want to make sure I position this right. I want an even number, or an even amount of space on this side between here, here, and here of the background. I probably shouldn't have put fast fuse on this quite yet. That's okay. We'll make it work. I think that looks good right there. I'm going to pinch that right there. And this side. Okay, kind of looks like those pockets you can stick your keys in or your phone. 
Now I'm going to take these two smaller hearts, turn them over. I'm going to put fast fuse on the middle of one. I'm going to stick the string to that. I'm going to put it around one end of our bag and then right back on there. So how, let me check the length on this. I want it to be about here. So I'm going to cut my leftover string here. So it looks like I cut a good inch off. So it looks like four inches was too long. Three inches is a little bit better. So we're going to make sure there's enough sticky stuff on here for the other heart to stick to. So we have a double sided cute little dangly for our purse because that just makes this I think that just makes this little purse super duper cute. Come on. We'll line that right up. This is that silver foil sheet. I just cut a few things. What I ended up doing because my um, big shot plates were a little bit scratched up from other framelits, I was having trouble. Um, I, I, cut a long strip to cut out a bunch of these hearts for my class and then when I cut one out because each of these hearts I only have one framelit for each size when I ran it through the ones that I were cutting turned out fine but the ones down the rest of the strip got kinda scratched up from my big shot plates so what I ended up doing is cutting a whole bunch of little squares probably about the size of this maybe one inch squares one and a quarter inch squares and then doing each of the cuts one square at a time and then I can use the square with the cutout heart on another project. So that was a win-win, a way around scratching up my foil and being able to use the negative of the things that I'm cutting out. So I'm going to stretch my foil sheets even further. So we got one more element to do on our thing here. What I've done with my circle is I've already scored it. I'm going to measure over here. I think I scored it at half an inch in on each side. Looks like this circle is one and three eighths of an inch, the smallest one. So I did half an inch in from this side and half an inch in from this side. And I don't know if you can see that score line there, but there's two score lines there. So I'm going to go ahead and fold on the score lines like this and like this <clears throat> and now all we need to do is use some of this velcro I'm not sure where I got this probably at my grocery store or something it's this tiny tiny little velcro already sticky adhesive dots so um, I'll have to see what I'm not sure where I got these, but if I find the link, I'll put it in the description box below. Maybe you can get them on Amazon. You can get pretty much anything on Amazon right now. So I'm going to cut out a square of that and then really stick those two together. And I'm going to peel off the back here. I'm going to leave that there for now. I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to put fast views on one of these sides not in the center and not on the other side, just on one far side. And stick that on the back of the purse. Also, since I'm not having this on the back, I, I lined this up with the square on the back so I could get it straight. So what I'm going to do is take this circle and center it on the front kind of pinch my bag a little bit here and see where this would kind of land I didn't do it this way before that looks about centered I'm going to go ahead and whoop, pinch it in the right spot <laughs> there we go 
So that part will go there. That looks about centered. So since the bottom part is on there now, or the back part, we'll be pushing that on, make sure it sticks really well. Now where did my, huh, my Velcro is stuck to my sleeve. So we're going to put this to, the two sides are stuck together with the Velcro, and I'm going to put it right on the other side and peel off the paper. So now there are two Velcro pieces on the tip of this. So I'm going to go ahead and close the purse, which will adhere the other side of the Velcro right where we want it. So we got to make sure we put this on in the right spot. It's bending a little bit here. Let's see. See if I can stick my scissors behind there and push it better. Oh yes, that's much better. Okay. Ah, it works. So now I'm going to pinch that and make sure it's really stuck on there. And there is our little gift card holder. Isn't that cute? So tell me what you think. You can put your hearts uh, one on each side or two on the front. I think I actually like this one better with one on each side. It kind of makes it more complete, I guess. This is cute too, though. Look at that. So let me know what you think. Um, if you need any projects or products from Stampin' Up, please check out my page, delightofmyart.stampinup.net. You can shop now on that page or uh, check out my Facebook page, Delight of My Art. And please follow me on Twitter and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love, love, love if you leave a comment on this video and let me know what you think of this project. So have a good day, guys. Bye.